Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to the Unminer server adventure. And here you can see me jumping around. Ooh, whoop, this is close. Um, <laughs> you can see me jumping around in my new home. I started moving, and I have no sound on my ear. Now, this is better. Uh, so, as I said, I started moving. I had movie day. Um, and you can see me here right in my new little cave. Uh, my old base, well, more like my hidey hole, was uh, way over there. I dug a little tunnel over there. And I started um, to, to build up here a little bit. Uh, I just built a little storage area. Uh, just for now, I guess... This may later change. Well, well, we will see. Um, there's some missing here on this side still. And um, my villagers will be over at this side. Hello, buddy. And I have to grab me a new horse. Um, the old one died. Oh, sad. Yeah, come over. <laughs> um... That was more like a cow than a horse. <laughs> what a bad sound. Um, yeah, I was far out, far, far out to collect this. A lot of packed ice. Compressed ice? Packed ice, whatever. Um, I was far out, close to uh, three and a half thousand blocks to the south. There is an ice spice, but ice spikes biome. And um, I tricked the enchanted forest. Um, it it turns out that it was only a matter of speed. <laughs> so I rushed through it with my old horse. But sadly, um, on the way back, it blew up by a creeper. Um, although I could... I could um, rescue the saddle and the, where is transport? There is transportation. And the horse armor as well. And I was able to find a little bit more of that. Um, and I grabbed me a new horse. The horse is right from the, from the plains here, from the Savannah plains, um, in front of this cave. That wasn't what I wanted. This is now. Now you look beauty. And I grabbed me uh, a donkey. Maybe I will breed mules um, someday in the future because I like them very much. And they are quite comfortable um, method of transportation because they give you um, additional inventory space, which is also very nice. Um, and besides this, which is just a um, storage area, um, I started to build this, which will um, I try to complete later. This is my melon farm. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> um, well, oh, my mouse. Where is it? There it is. I have to collect this. This. Now drop down. Thank you. I have to collect it manually. <laughs> um, I'm missing. I'm missing a water stream. Uh, yeah, quick explanation seven. Oh, well, quick explanation what I want to do with this. Um, because of villager trading, I just want to automate um, the pumpkin farming a little bit. Not um, over the top with it. Uh, I will do this in my single player world. But um, here on the server, where everything um, results in lag for other players, we don't want to go over the top with the redstone contractions. And therefore, um, I have a tutorial for this build. I will link in the video description down below. Uh, and there you can see how this thing is done. Um, I will just try to explain a little bit. Because, um, because well, let's see where we can see the best. Ooh, ooh, come, come, come out, come out, come out. You can see we have a row of um, pumpkin stems, and there it goes. And that was a little bit fast. Hmm. And pumpkins, um, pumpkins growing on the row behind, and a row of slime blocks behind that. Um, when we just, when we just push the slime blocks um, out uh, forward, and 
um, push the pumpkins forward, the slime blocks would um, take the, the dirt back when it retracts again. And this is, this is um, multiplied dirt. I have no clue how this happens. Um, it's just dirt from nothing, basically. Uh, it happens sometimes, but it don't affect the system, so well, whatever. So um, it would, as you can see here, this, this row would be here anyway, because this slime row, when it retracts, would um, get this with them. So this piston down below here pushes the dirt back out. This is basically the system it functions. And I want to do this in a little bit of a roundish feel, um, um, roundish feel around this tunnel. There will be another layer to here somewhere. And then on this side, there will be sugar cane. Um, also up to the top in a roundish kind of field. So this comes a little bit out and the next layer will come out a little bit further more and the same on this side. And this thing here will be an item elevator. Um, I'm pretty sure you saw this design multiple times already. It's a pistonless glass tube elevator. My phone's going off because my wife wants something for me. Oh, a little kiss. How cute. Um, so this will be a little uh, glass tube elevator just to the top and in the ceiling there will be the transportation to over here. This is the place where my villagers will be stored in the future, my little trading hall. Um, I have no design in mind for it right now. Um, maybe I will use um, these um, swapper things that um, Doc M used lately on the Minecraft server where you can store two villagers um, in the same place and swap, him, uh, swap them with uh, slime blocks, with a slime block elevator. Maybe I will go with that. And of course, uh, here has to be a lot of design decisions has to be made. I like the look of this a lot with the, uh, with the columns uh, in the corners of it. Uh, there will be columns here also on this side and on this side and we will have um, a little uh, entrance way for, of some sort and here in the middle maybe maybe a fountain or some sculpture or we will see i have no plans for it uh, yet we will see how it will go so uh, this is my plans for the today's episode i will i will um, try to build this of course off camera because it would take quite a while to finish that. And I can show you around on the outside. So you see a little bit better where my new home is right now. I have found this, this beautiful hole here right on the side of the mountain. It, it looks fantastic. I saw it the first time and thought, yes, this is my new base. Um, this is just for harvesting purposes, of course. I won't grow um, jungle trees around my base because we are in a savanna and a plains biome and with a desert, desert nearby. Um, I choose this place because we have a little competition running. We started the competition um, last weekend on, on Saturdays, I guess. You may watched already um, Steve King's and Acid's video. They published it earlier today or yesterday, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and we want to take a little competition um, for building a farm and not a redstone contraction farm like I have down there right now. Uh, it would be some sort of natural looking real feel farm. And we want to go with the Wild West theme. We have over, oh, we can quickly ride into town so you see uh, where we are right now. Yup, great jumper. This is the tunnel you may you may remember I dug um, to get cows over here. And here's the town. So not really that far away, just on the other side of this hill. And we want to do this farming competition. And we, um, we did a little recording of it. And I will show you the footage of that right now. Hello there, miners and crafters. Welcome in another 
episode of the Unminer server, uh, this time with Buster Ooh. and Steve King. Uh, by the way, 2 0. <laughs> I had to say it, sorry. <laughs> Poland just went yeah, Poland one, two, won. Germany, uh, in the World Cup quarter. And I still don't care. <laughs> yeah, well, I do well, I'm happy bit. for you. Um, but anyway, this, this episode will be not about football. This episode will be about building a building competition. You have to say soccer, otherwise Steve will won't ah, understand yes, what you're soccer. talking about. The, the, well, the <laughs> That's okay, I take Spanish. I know my other language terms yeah <laughs> okay okay go. but you know it, it is football because you kick the ball with the foot so you know mm -hmm. it's foot, football and what is it called in spanish huh? football football ah, okay. football is called is in spanish football you mean like american football no 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 no, no, no. no. i mean uh, your soccer our football it's football that's it ah, okay. it's, just <laughs> it's quite easy <laughs> um okay so Back to the I competition. Guess it's dummy proof all uh, over the world. The th yeah, okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, the theme of the competition will be farms, like um, big, realistic farms, not some automated redstone tiny contraptions. And uh, I was, you might say, cheating a little bit because I started my um, little project behind the hill already and I've got some uh, some ideas for it. But it won't be it. That's, that's the farm I'm building over there, will not take uh, part in the competition. Uh, so, about places, about places, we are not building very close to the square over here. Uh, I think Buster will be building behind the behind this hill over there. Yeah, um, right where you see the glowstone above my tree farm, yeah, right yeah, on yeah. the other side of that mountain. Cool, cool, cool. So, it will not be visible straight away. You cannot take ideas and steal them. You have to actually sneak up and spy on it a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, Steve Space. Yeah, I will I, sell you the invisibility potions you will need for that. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Your shop will actually uh, kick back and uh, make you lose the competition, probably. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, Steve Space will be here somewhere. It's 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 a mobile farm so far. It's being moved every like single day. A little, so far. Yeah, a little bit further, a little bit further, and uh, yeah, this one, this one right here, I think will be the final place and I haven't found the place yet so um, yeah I will I will probably keep searching in a second for it or uh, maybe tomorrow actually because tomorrow I'll be playing a little bit more um, so any any rules about those um, farms no redstone contraptions uh, as realistic as possible stay in the wild west theme and yeah 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 stay stay in like a wooden stone age basically well not not stone yes. age <laughs> but uh, well they had metal 200 years ago <laughs> yeah. uh, stone uh what you might call it theme uh so yeah i think i think that's it for the introduction unless you guys want to um add something no, yes. no uh, that sounds good to me okay okay so uh, will we try to include um, new members a uh, possibly possibly we've got a new member that uh, the name i forgot <laughs> uh starts with cyborgian 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 underscore there we go welcome cyborgian he was here before i've seen i've seen the logs from the server he logged in so the whitelist works yeah uh, i already so, showed him around ah uh, cool 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 so maybe maybe his first project will be a competition we'll see how a how good he is as a builder. Uh, what is about the time frame? Uh, time frame, we don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't know. Uh, that is an awesome rule. <laughs> depends how long we're gonna, you know, it's gonna take. But I think a couple of weeks, something like that. Maybe three weeks, because um, sometimes some things are happening and we cannot play Minecraft, yeah. unfortunately. So um, yeah, about about. Uh, three weeks. Obviously, you can you can include some updates in your episodes if you want to. It's a, you know, no hidden yeah, project. To be honest, I was just so joking about be, spying. it will be it will be variable. Yeah? yeah, we won't make it fixed and. Yeah, if, when when everybody will say they are ready, uh, yeah, then we're gonna be ready. But I think two weeks or three weeks maximum should be enough. Yeah. Okay. Three weeks should be plenty to get some work done. Yeah. Okay. I think I think that's whoa Buster is spitting torches. Uh, <laughs> I think I think that's enough for the introduction. Uh, so I will 
start my project now in my episode at least and then glue everything together all right so see you guys later and good luck see you. good luck to you so you know everything about the competition we are in now uh, we want to build this farm i talked about earlier and uh, you can see over there that um, the steve king already started on well, from here, it looks like a kind of horse stables with all the horses inside. Maybe a barn horse stables thingy combined. I have no clue what he's building over there, but he's already looking nice. Um, but today, I want to do something different besides um, the these um, pumpkin um, farm I showed you earlier. I want to build a sheriff's building for the town. Because there have to be law and order in a western city like this. So, a sheriff must be in town. Um, and I will go with a really dark theme. Um, a really flat uh, building. Uh, really dark inside. With uh, cells, of course, for um, eventual prisoners. Uh, we will see how it, how it uh, will go out. Um, but I will start it right now. Um, I did a little um, uh, design on uh, creative and I'm shaking wildly with my mouse. Bad behavior, bad behavior. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Congratulations, Buster. You can count to thirteen. Of course, it's a um, uneven shape as usual because of the bad OCD most people have in Minecraft. Oops, oops, oops. Um, ah, it's so much easier to work with uh, with um, odd, odd um, forms. So you have an actually middle of the building. Um, and I will go with really dark materials with um, spruce wood um, logs and spruce wood planks, uh, which are really dark. Um, with um, dark oak wood. Oh, did I use actually dark oak wood in here? No, oh, let's see. I did. And these are dark oak. Yep, it's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, this looks a little bit plain right now. I will, I will modify that later, of course, with um, with rugs, uh, carpets, and maybe with stairs. In the floor to um, to mimic a sort of um, worn out um, floor. We will see. I have just designed um, roughly the outer outer perimeter of the building, not really the interior design, just a little bit. And here, here the spruce wood. Yeah, this is the spruce wood. All really flat and kind of um, dark. So um, prisoners have nothing to laugh about. And I was missing my crafting bench. Excellent work, Buster. Um, okay, I have enough wood in my inventory, of course, to craft me one. There you go. I need stairs. And I need more inventory space. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Here, entrance door. Here. Good. And now we have um, beams of, of spruce wood all around. Boink, boink, boink. And there will be um, beams um, across the ceiling. Okay. And here the last one, let's see. Building and talking on camera, oh, always a pleasure. Um, okay, I have to look up um, the, the design every now and then to see what I'm actually doing. But it seems okay. Yeah, now we have um, beams across here. Let me grab this. There you go. 
here, here. This will of course be removed, just a helping block. Here all across. And oh, to the other side, of course, here we go. Then there will be a porch on this side around. Mm, let's see, do we have, there we go, a porch on this side <clears throat> and on the front side we have two here, yeah, two rows here, half slabs in front, oh, oh. yes, <laughs> two fast fingers finger is faster than the eye or in my case faster than my brains <laughs> okay there we go and we have to start of a little porch around um, fences on a skelly admiring what I'm doing here yeah you might be my first prisoner actually but just if you stay away no if you come close, you die. There you go. Cook, cook. Wink. Oh, hit me. <laughs> Actually, a nice idea. Maybe I will exactly imprison skeletons and zombies. Well, why not? Okay, um, we have this part now around the porch. Then let's see the ceiling. Um, okay, let me do a little bit off camera because <laughs> it will get messy otherwise. And um, when I make a little bit of progress, oh, let me just light this up here a little bit. I will be back with you. See you in a second. I think I'm done. <clears throat> this is what I came up with. Um, the building is close to finished. A little bit of tweaks interior um, as exterior maybe. But let's see. We have the outside here. Um, there is yeah, some kind of screen. You see um, Acid did this on this building as well. Um, the front of uh, these western style buildings always has this, this um, screen in front. Uh, mostly there was written on it uh, was inside the building like here a saloon or in this case there will be sheriff up top um, but I am lacking a bit of wool and the um, the dye that I want to use it um, then here around it um, I have these shutters um, in front of the windows here by the three wide windows as on this side the double shutters um, sort like I have the stairs here on top to cover the beams and to bring up a little bit of um, of structure here on the outside there is um, there is a wood trapdoor missing <laughs> um, here a little bit of hay for the horses and uh, poles you can tie them to um what else uh, the back side here um to cover up the the roof um i placed these uh, fences they are maybe a little bit too too light uh, maybe i will go with spruce wood here also um this yeah the back wall um also a little bit rickety and and torn apart a little bit all the vines here the mossy cobblestone in place um, oh I'm missing a fence here it's it's still a little bit plain maybe I will I will put um, hmm, stairs around I have to consider that maybe maybe uh, this side uh, the same as the other side of course here we have the cells um, in place also with the mossy cobble and the shutters here just the torch uh, item frame trick in front to give a little bit of lightning. Um, then we have, of course, we need um, a clock inside so the sheriff knows when high noon is. And when he has to do his duty 
hanging people or fighting duels in the middle of the street on the the pale moon sun sunlight the pale moon sun what i'm talking about <laughs> um, under the high noon sun uh, then we have the floor here also bought a few um brought a few stairs inside so it looked a little bit worn and torn then this carpet um there is no glowstone underneath right now because um it's far over at my base and i will put it down later um that should mimic a little bit like dirt when you go in and out and bring prisoners to the to the uh, cells uh, you always bring dirt from the outside to the inside and um, as said because we have a really dutiful sheriff uh, which has a lot of duty to do with bad boys you don't have time to clean up and his deputies are lazy as usual um, then we have here the the cells i used um, the acacia wood doors for the cell doors because they look like um, a little bit like rusty iron doors and because of the bars in it they really look like um, cell doors i guess and um, as it showed me this trick um, a while ago, the doors here are actually open. <laughs> this now is closed. And you see here, when you look at F3, uh, on the right top side, you see um, door open. True. These doors are actually open. And this is because I placed the doors here as I was standing here while placing the doors. Um, and so when I put here zombies and skeletons for as prisoners inside, they can um for the zombies they can't knock the door down because it is open and it looks like just closed so we can really really lock them up inside um the ceiling i brought just a little bit in with placing um, um slabs so we have a little bit structure in the ceiling yeah well and that it is oh yeah here the um, the sitting area here the waiting area for the uh, visitors for the prisoners then we have here two little um, tables and sitting chairs for the for the um, let's say deputies and here on this side for the sheriff oh i can maybe let's see can i do it with item frames yeah i can do it with item frames um maybe it will look even better with signs so we have these um sides of the chairs oh uh, uh, we'll see Maybe I will use better signs. But um, yeah, this is it for the sheriff building. There will be a large banner sheriff on top. I will install that later once I get the, the wool and the dye for the wool. I will use, I guess, orange and yellow, maybe red and yellow. So it stands really out and cries at your face. Here's the sheriff. So now we have a sheriff in town. Uh, he can put up his duty. Oh, maybe I can even even use a villager as a sheriff. <laughs> well, well, we will see. So this is it uh, for today. Hope you liked the episode and my little sheriff building. Um, next time I will uh, build off camera, of course, um, a lot more in my base to bring um, to get the sugarcane and the pumpkin farm completely running and completed. And um, maybe I get even the villagers over there. We will see how much time I will have to spend on the server. Um, yeah, and this is it. Maybe I get even to the start of the competition to build my farm area. We will see. Um, so what's left for me to do is now wish you all a lovely weekend. We have Friday right now, so have a beautiful weekend. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.